Good morning, happy hippos. Did you know that Christmas Day is almost here? It's next week already. What have you been doing to get ready? What has your family done to get ready? I'm sitting in front of my Christmas tree. We put this up, so we're ready. There's some presents under it for my family. We're ready with that too. The title of the story for today is Who's Getting Ready for Christmas? This story is about some animals who are all ready to celebrate. It's Christmas Eve, the badgers say. There's so much to be done. All their friends are helping out and having so much fun. Someone's just come up the path and knocked upon the door. The postman's here, the hedgehogs cry, and he's brought us gifts galore. Now this book has some little flaps too that I could open and show you tiny pictures. Let's see, there we go. There's a couple of birds outside. This is number three. There's a squirrel. Here's number four. I don't know what animal that is. What animal is that? Some little woodland critter. And where's number five? Oh, here's five up over the door. Here we go. Oh, there's another bird hanging some berries. And who's at the door? Oh, they said it was the postman. It's the mailman fox bringing some presents. Grandma Mouse is busy knitting stockings for tonight, but it's getting dark and hard to see, so Owl puts on the light. The tree is nearly finished, then the animals can stop. There's just one other thing to add, an angel on the top. Here's number seven with the owl. Oh, there he is, he turned on the lantern. Here's number eight, Grandma Mouse. There's a little stocking full of presents. There's her knitting bag. Oh, the mouse fell asleep with the yarn. Number 10. Oh, there's another mouse ready to hang an ornament on the tree. Number 11 is the angel. Looks like an angel mouse. And number 12. That looks like a squirrel asleep in the tree. And number 13 under, oh, there's a chipmunk. All the animals are starting to fall asleep. It must be really late. In the kitchen, the animals have had no end of fun, cooking lots of delicious food, enough for everyone. There's Christmas pudding, cakes and fruit, and lots of tasty cheese. Four naughty little helpers help themselves to what they please. Number 14, oh, there's some more foxes outside. Number 15, under the cabinet. Ooh, squirrel has some acorns. Number 16, behind the cake. Oh, the mouse is sneaking a taste. Number 17. Come on, Flap. Here we go. Ooh, that bird is taking a cookie. I hope it was okay that he takes the cookie. Number 18. Ooh, oh, somebody's eating an orange. I think that's a possum. Then number 19 up on the cabinet is another mouse with some more cookies. As darkness falls, the little mice scamper to their beds with hopes and dreams of Santa Claus drifting through their heads. The house is still and silent, just the sound of falling snow. Then suddenly there comes a noise. What is it? Do you know? Let's see what everybody's doing. Oh, inside this present is a rocking horse for someone. Down that hallway. 
some animals with their candles. Here inside this present is a teddy bear. Aww. How about in 23? Ooh, that's a Jack in the Box. Have you ever had a Jack in the Box toy? We wind it up and then an animal pops out of the box. Inside this present is a train. Oh my goodness, how much fun. Well, the story said that they heard a noise. What do you think that noise was? I bet you it's behind number 25. It's coming from the fireplace. Whatever could it be? And what's outside the window? Who is it? Can you see? It's Santa Claus arriving. Twelve reindeer pull his sleigh. Now the animals are sure to have a happy Christmas day. There he is. Santa Claus for the animals is a polar bear. Look, he's bringing lots of presents for those animals. And that is the end. Seems like the animals were ready for a fun Christmas day. And I hope you have one too. See you later,